Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I go by London Cooks and in today's tutorial I want to show you guys how I make my curried oxtail. But first, if this is your very first time here, go ahead, stop this video, hit the pause button, and hit the subscribe button. I promise you will love it here. And if you are a regular cooking friend, welcome back friend. So we will get started by washing our oxtail using some cool water, lime juice, and vinegar. And of course, I've already cleaned my oxtails with any excess fat. Next, I seasoned my oxtails using one tablespoon ginger, garlic, and pimento seasoning, one tablespoon all-purpose seasoning, two teaspoons black pepper, three-fourth tablespoon garlic powder, a dash of salt, and also one tablespoon fresh blend. Now, if you already have your own fresh blend on hand, uh, epis, green seasoning, whatever it is that you call it, please feel free to use that versus using my fresh blend. I'm also going to allow my oxtails to marinate overnight for 24 hours, but you guys definitely don't have to allow it to marinate for that long for sure. My pot has been fully heated over a medium high heat and I'm also using a Dutch oven pot for this. I did also add one tablespoon of the fresh blend to the oil, just to incorporate some flavor in here along with one tablespoon of curry powder and two teaspoons turmeric. Next, I'm going to add the oxtails in here and I'm going to allow them to brown for about 10 minutes or so. Now, if you guys notice, I did not season my oxtails using the curry powder and I do want to let you know that that is optional. If you prefer to allow your meat to marinate with the curry powder, please feel free to do so. Personally, I have stopped doing this um, for many different reasons. I have found that there are some brands of curry that are a bit weaker in taste and in flavor and this has definitely posed problems in terms of taste in the past for me personally. Now that my oxtails have browned somewhat, it's time to get the pot ready for simmer mode. So I added some hot water to the container that I used to season the oxtail just to swish around the water in the container to get out the excess seasoning and I did pour it over the oxtails. Um, I did also add to the pot two teaspoons of pimento seeds which I grounded. Two heaping tablespoons of fresh blend, half tablespoons of pureed ginger, one tablespoon of curry powder since I did not season my oxtails using any curry powder whatsoever, and one scotch bonnet pepper, which I will not pierce. The process gets very simple from here. Turn your heat down to the lowest setting and allow your oxtails to slow cook. oxtails are pretty similar to brown stew oxtails with the exception of not using brown sugar or browning. So something I made sure to do was to check my pot every 30 minutes or so just to check the tenderness of the oxtails. And guys, something that I do like to encourage is we are all different, everyone has different tastes. You don't have to follow this recipe to a T. So please feel free to switch up anything to your liking for sure. We are now at the two hour mark and the oxtails are starting to become tender. So I did cut up one large carrot and add to the pot along with one heaping tablespoon of fresh blend. And I did also raise my heat to medium at this point and I will allow this to cook for about 30 minutes or so. Now, I'm going to add a few sprigs of thyme, one teaspoon grounded pimento seeds, two teaspoons of ginger, garlic, and pimento seasoning, and also one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. added about a cup and a half of water just to loosen up my gravy a little bit and I'm going to allow this to simmer for about 20 minutes just to allow all the seasonings to come together. <music> Lastly, I'm now going to add the broad beans to the pot. Now these take about 10 minutes or so to cook you guys if so much so you definitely want to add these last 
So I'm going to leave this for about an additional 10 minutes and the pot should be done. All right, you guys, three hours later, here we are, curry oxtail. And you guys, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I'm not sure if I like curry oxtail or brown stew oxtail better. It's definitely a tie for me. But either way, you guys, this was so, so, so delicious. If you have been giving curry oxtail a thought, this is your sign to try. You guys, it's out of this world, and this dish is definitely in rotation in my house. I truly do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and super helpful. I do also hope that you guys enjoy this recipe with your families and friends. And as I did mention earlier, you guys, feel free to switch up any recipes you're liking. That's one of the advantages of homemade cooking is that you're able to make things to however you like them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new here, turn your post notifications on, check out my TikTok, my Instagram, and also my website, londoncooks.com. See you guys in the next video.